in this video let us deduce kepler's third law of planetary motion which is also called as law of period this video is the continuation of my previous video detection of kepler's second law of planetary motion here we are going to use some of the equation which we have already derived in the previous video let us take t to be the period of the elliptic motion which means t is the time taken by the particle or the radius vector to complete one revolution next let us find out what is the area of the orbit which is given by capital a this can be obtained by integrating da between the limits 0 to a the value of da has been already uh, derived in the previous video that is the area covered per unit time which is equal to half r square theta dot the value of da is half r square theta dot so to get a let us integrate it between the limits 0 to t half r square theta dot dt for our convenience we are multiplying uh, m in the numerator and dividing it by uh, dividing it in the denominator so bringing uh, m in the numerator and denominator do not bring any change here so we have introduced here and we know m r square theta dot is nothing but it is the angular momentum j so substituting here we get j by 2m integral 0 to t dt when we integrate this dt we get capital t applying the limits we get jt divided by 2m so we have got the value of a s the angular momentum j t divided by 2m but uh, this is the area we got theoretically but we all know the area of the ellipse a is given by pi ab so equation 1 and 2 represents the area or the uh, they represent the same form and here the small a and small b are nothing but which we are much familiar semi major and semi minor axis of the ellipse so equating equation 1 and 2 we get pi ab is equal to jt divided by 2m we are interested in finding out capital t so we are cap uh, keeping the capital t in the left hand side and bringing everything to the other side we get capital t is equal to 2 pi a b m divided by j and by the property of the ellipse the semi minor uh, the value of the semi minor axis b is equal to a into root of 1 minus e square a is nothing but that is the eccentricity of the ellipse now let us substitute the value of b in equation 3 then our time period t becomes 2 pi a m j in place of b let us substitute a into root of 1 minus e square let us multiply this a and a then it becomes 2 pi m a square j into root of 1 minus e square so let us get rid of this uh, square root uh, by squaring equation 5 upon squaring we get t square is equal to 4 pi square m square a power 4 by j square into 1 minus e square now i am going to introduce the value for a that is the value for semi major axis of the ellipse a is equal to j square by m into k into 1 minus e square uh this has been taken from an uh, uh, another derivation the value of a in terms of uh, angular momentum is a into j square m k into 1 minus e square so from this we can find out what is 1 minus e square the value of eccentricity 1 minus e square is equal to j square divided by a m k let's take it as equation number 7 and let us use this equation 7 in equation 6 when we use we get 4 pi square m square a power 4 by j square into j square by a m k so in this equation in this equation we can cancel out 
uh, m and uh, 1m in the numerator and the denominator goes 1a in the denominator the numerator will go j square and j square will get cancelled then finally we are left with t square is equal to 4 pi square m by k into a cube so in this expression 4 pi square is a constant m is a constant k is another constant so we are going to replace everything by a constant we get t square into t square is equal to a constant into a cube generally we can remove a constant symbol by introduce uh, a constant by introducing the proportionality symbol so we got or we have got t square is proportional to a cube so this t square is proportional to a cube is nothing but this is the celebrated kepler's third law of planetary motion here t is nothing but that is the time period of the elliptical orbit which we have uh, initially taken and a is nothing but the uh, semi the value of the semi major uh, axis of the ellipse thus the equation 8 represents kepler's third law of planetary motion which can be stated as the square of the period of revolution of a planet around the sun is proportional to cube of semi major axis of the elliptical orbit of the planet there are lot of uh, uh, de uh, derivations available for this kepler's third law of planetary motion but i find but i found this way to be very simple which will be helpful for the students